Chris, I give you. Is it a pleasure? I know you're going to speak about the chance, but also about Ryan Gravenberg. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a pleasure because watching him is a pleasure at the moment, yeah, isn't oh, it? He's, is. he's just. I keep, keep saying it. I've said it all day. I've said it all week. The lad just wants to get forwards, and he's really exciting in that regard, isn't he? You know, his first touch is sublime. He like flicks the ball around the corner for himself often, and you know, he uses the the, the he uses the. The, the the intensity of Brighton's press against them like they're coming in fast right time poof off yeah. see you later goes round the man draws fouls for fun always trying to get in there he, he, he should do better with his opportunity I don't think anyone can really argue otherwise yeah. you're clutching you know the, he'll have expected to score it therefore we should expect him to score it um, ultimately uh, it's a really it's a good performance and and if you know if if Jones isn't going to be available, then I'm now looking at Gravenberch and going. How do we get him into the middle of the park? And it looks like from the two players that I think they were fighting between, let's say Elliot and and him in the eight. Gravenberch has nipped nipped ahead of Elliot in that regard because he had much more impact on the game. The question mark is whether you bring Endo in, and you you use maybe McAllister and Sober slide. But I'll be honest, and I know it's probably the wrong time for this. I think the midfield moving forwards, if we've got a best midfield, is now going to be McAllister, Gravenberch, and Sobersly. Because I think when you Jones and Sobersly are in there, they're the front two eights, mm-hmm. which means McAllister's going to be in the side somewhere. And I feel like we've now decided that what we've got with the players that we've got, we'll get a better overall result by having McAllister deeper and using Sobersly and Gravenberch or Sobersly and Kerr Jones. Um, further up the field. Interesting. I tend to agree in terms of personnel. I still have reservations about what that personnel bring to the table in terms of balance and stuff like that. And this all centres around Lexus McAllister. It's as simple as that. I, I, just, I don't want to sort of dwell on it too much, and I won't. Uh, I just think we, we are at the point now whereby I think we're doing him more harm than good playing him out of position week in, week out. Uh, and so when you've got Endo playing the six, let's say, or yeah. Bajetic, could be either yeah. when he's fit. And you've got to pick two from Gravenberch, McAllister, Sobbers, Lion Jones. And Elliot. And Elliot. Yeah. Brutal. Are you thinking, because I think Jones and Sobbers have been the best pairing. Is there no McAllister in the side? And you then playing Endo ahead of McAllister in the six by... Because I think but the reason my reasoning is Jones and Sobersley have been fucking superb. Yeah, I'm a McAllister's a better player than Endo. That's yeah, all my reasoning is. Yeah, it was exactly <laughs> exactly like the personnel you've mentioned are the best three personnel, but I just don't know anymore if we can persist with McAllister in the six. I hope I'm wrong. So what would you give Gravenberch out of ten? <laughs> seven. I think it's seven. Possibly yeah. seven point five. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. give him an eight, me. Would you give him an eight? Yeah, you're your really, 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 really,